Welcome guys, the topic of this video is how to restore your default FL Studio settings or I should rather say how to restore your default FL Studio 20 settings. So here what I have, uh, what you see on my screen is the dubstep templates and if you don't know how to get that, uh, watch one of my previous videos, I'll be linking it in the description and somewhere on your screen. And I have this to show that right now I'm using a custom settings because when you close uh, a custom template like this one and you reopen FL Studio, you will see the same thing. Uh, so I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video, but what I'm going to show you are two ways of restoring your FL Studio uh, settings to their factory settings. That's what I mean. So the way you know how you restored your settings is uh, the next time you open FL Studio, you should see one of the demo songs um, open. I'm not sure exactly which one, but if you recall, the first time you installed FL Studio and you open the application, you had a track um, directly open for you, one of the demo tracks that you could listen. So um, you can run the tool to restore your settings uh, while FL Studio is open. But of course, you're going to have to um, reopen the application, close it and open it again to see the effects. So I'm going to open Windows Explorer. I am inside my Windows, uh, the C drive. I'm going to go to Program Files x86, scroll down, go to Image Line, the Image Line folder here. And uh, the uh, first way is um, you go to the Shared folder, then you go to the Start folder, and we're going to use the Diagnostic tool. That's the first way of doing that. So the Diagnostic tool is now available and I'm going to click on this option, uh, this radio button here, Reset FL Studio Settings. I'm going to have a warning which reads, your personal FL Studio settings will be reset. Is that what you want? Yes. So um, now it's been done. I go here to FL Studio, I don't see anything, but then if I close this, so now I have reopened the application um, this is a setting because it's checking for automatic updates. I'm going to click on cancel. And now you see that we have this demo, um, demo projects open automatically, just as if we just installed FL Studio. So that's one way of knowing that you've just, um, you've, you've successfully reset your factory settings. And uh, it's telling me, uh, yeah, I don't have these plugins. So it's asking me uh, if I want to purchase them, etc. So that's one way I'm going to uh, get another template again. Hip hop trap. So now I've got this open right here. It's a custom um, template. So I'm going to run the tool. I'm going to run the tool using the other method. So I have to go here. It's very close. You just have to double click. Uh, open your FL Studio 20 folder and click on this one right here, Reset Settings. So I'm clicking on that. I get the same message, pretty much the same message, and I select Yes. I want to reset my settings. And this time around, uh, I'm directed here directly. Uh, let me make sure that I really, um, I really clicked on Yes. Yeah, I click on yes. So now I'm going to restart FL Studio here. Ignore this message. So FL Studio is open again. I'm going to click cancel and I should see the fresh track once again, like the demo track as if we just installed FL Studio. So that's how you know that uh, you've reset your, um, your options. Um, that's it. But if you like this video, um, make sure you share it. If you want more of these, let me know as well in the comment section. And also, uh, please make sure you check the links to the headphones and microphones that I'm putting in the description of this video. But for now, I'm going to close this video. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys.